Section 4. Food, not bombs, vegan recipes. Food logistics. Collecting food is the uh, first step in logistics. Every community discards edible food. Make a list of all the possible sources for produce, bread, baked goods, and other perishable items. This includes produce warehouses, groceries, fresh daily bakeries, farmers markets, and local farms. You won't need to collect. Food from dumpsters. Making arrangements to collect food that can't be sold will provide you with a greater amount and better quality off food and will help your local Food Not Bombs group build stronger relationships in the community. You food. Pickups will help determine your menu. Once you have an idea of what food you can collect, you may want to buy some items to supplement your food recovery program. Cooking for large numbers of people can be very intimidating. It is very different to cook a dinner for six at home than for several hundred on the street. But don't be overwhelmed. It can be done, and with the right equipment and a few skills, it can be easier and more fun than you might think. It isn't necessary to always make huge pots off two or three items, although that is one way to provide hundreds of people with a meal. Your group can make a variety of foods, dishing out five or six items to each person. It can be surprising how many hundreds of people you can feed when you prepare many different dishes. Your visitors will enjoy your tasty vegan meals as much as they love your welcoming conversation. Equipment. The first task is getting together a few people who are willing to help with food preparation, transportation, and serving. These are not jobs to be done alone. The second task is the acquisition of the proper equipment. Most people don't have five or 10 gallon pots or extra large mixing bowls in their kitchens. However, most churches do, as do many community centers, food service programs, and restaurants. Sometimes, one or more of these organizations will allow you to borrow their equipment. At other times, you might have to buy it. Used restaurant equipment stores, going out of business auctions, and rummage or yard sales are excellent places to obtain the necessary tools. Your group can start by getting a few very large pots, large bowls or plastic buckets, large spoons, and a cutting board and knife for each cook. Your chapter can organize a benefit concert, announcing your goal of buying two large stainless steel cooking pots. You can set up a literature table at the concert and ask people to sign your contact list. If you have a flyer with your group's contact information and the times, days, and locations of your regular meal, that will also be helpful. People may deliver some of the equipment you need to your meal. The benefit can also be a great way to get more volunteers and food donations. In general, the equipment you will need includes two or three very large pots, two or three large cast iron skillets or woks, several large bowls for mixing and serving, large kitchen spoons and ladles, two or more large vegetable knives for chopping, several cutting boards, several plastic containers with lids of various sizes for the storage, transportation, and serving of food, one bread box with lid and attached pair of tongs for self-service, one coffee urn with spout for serving liquids, one or two large ice chests or coolers for keeping perish, Abel's cold on hot days, one or two propane stoves, three trash bins to clean the dishes and silverware, one for soapy water, one for disinfectant, and one for rinsing, sponges or cloth to clean spills in the dishes, and silverware, one or more portable tables, one or more food, not bombs, banners, literature in a box with number 19 rubber bands, personal eating utensils, plates, bowls, cups, spoons, forks, and napkins, optional musical instruments, puppets, signs, recovered flowers, tablecloths, folding chairs, circus equipment, soap bubbles, solar ovens, flags. The next to the last item involves an ongoing debate about environmental appropriateness. New groups will usually start off using paper plates, foam cups, and plastic spoons and forks. However, there is a good deal of concern about the waste involved in this method. Using paper products made, from post-consumer waste paper, avoiding styrofoam, collecting used plastic ware for recycling, and encouraging people to reuse their cups. Plates and plastic ware addresses some of the concerns around excessive waste and the consume and throw away mentality. Some food.bombs groups collect large numbers of durable plastic plates, bowls, and metal flatware from flea markets and yard sales at very low prices. Cheap enough that if you lose a few at each event, it is not much of an economic loss. Even though these items will need to be washed during or after each meal in a sanitary way, it is a great way to inspire a move away from a disposable society. In some cities, the number of people coming to eat can be huge and washing the dishes and silverware can be very hard. So at times, using paper plates and cups along with plastic spoons and forks might be necessary. But it is possible to bring three buckets of water, one with soap, one with disinfectant, and one for rinse, and use 100 dishes to feed 500 people. While there is often no perfect solution to feeding large numbers of people without creating paper and plastic waste, Whatever you can do to cut down on the volume is an opportunity to educate the public about the need to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Portable tables are another story. You can get six-foot portable tables at most building supply stores. They even have ones that fold into a three-foot square. To save money, ask if they have one they have already been using for display or other reason, and ask if they would be willing to sell it to you so you can feed the hungry. A $40 table can become a $20 table just by asking. The surface of the table will be scratched soon enough so that really won't matter to your food, not bombs group. Another way to make a portable table that is sturdy consists of a plain, hollow core interior door without the doorknob and a pair of sawhorses made from metal joiners and lumber. The door and the material for the sawhorses can all be bought at a hardware store or lumber shop for less than $15. The hollow core door is very light, and the joiners allow sawhorse legs to be easily assembled and disassembled, also allowing easy transportation.
or some groups have turned to borrowing plastic milk or drink crate stacking femto table height. People have been arrested and accused of stealing milk crates, so consider this fact before using them to make a table. Using items you don't mind losing can be necessary if the police are taking your equipment. The recipes you use can be from this book, another cookbook, family or made up experimentally on the spot in. General, strive. Food, temperature danger zone. Between 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius, and 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius. To make food that tastes as good as you can, it is just as important to respect the dignity of the people we serve as it is to give them nutrition. A tasty vegan meal is a great way to encourage more people to eat less meat and dairy. The better the food tastes, the more enjoyable the experience food not bombs will be. Tips on cooking for large numbers. Cooking for 100 is not much different from cooking for 10, except that most of the quantities are 10 times greater. However, for a few things, this is not true. Spices and salt in particular should not just be multiplied when increasing the quantity of a recipe. Much less is needed in most dishes. Let your taste buds be your guide. Some food not bombs groups have a bottom liner who adds the spicesso that the dishes are not overspiced. Every once in a while, a group will find that four or five volunteers are all adding pepper, salt, or another popular spice, and before long, the meal is too spicy. The same is true for the amount of preparation time each dish requires. The larger the volume, the more efficient so the overall prep time is reduced. In fact, when a particular ingredient is in several dishes on the menu, prep enough of this ingredient for all the dishes at the same time. This can often be done for events over several days, depending on your available storage space and labor. Again, always strive to be on time for every event where you serve food. Sometimes this is difficult or impossible, but when time is short, you can do the prep work for easy, quick dishes in advance. Your group can also do the actual prep and cooking for the longer, more complex dishes at the site itself. Soup is one dish, which lends itself to a cooking at an event where people might be participating for several hours or even days. Upon arrival, set a pot of water to boil. While it is heating, start chopping and adding vegetables. Once the vegetables start to soften, remove half the soup and serve it. With the remaining half, add more water and vegetables and keep cooking. This can go on indefinitely and becomes a never-ending pot of soup. This same concept can be used in a kitchen setting when there is a short amount of time to cook a large amount of soup or when the stove is too small for several large soup pots. Follow the normal recipe for vegetable soup and when the vegetables have been added and the broth just begins to boil, drain off most of the broth and save it in another container. Add more vegetables and a small amount of water to the pot and continue cooking. This pot should now contain enough vegetables and spices for two or more pots of soup, but little broth. When the vegetables are cooked, mix them and the broth together again in several containers and transport to the serving site. This can make two or more pots worth of soup using only one pot and only a little more time. If you have a donation of tofu, wheat, gluten, or tempeh, you can saute that in another pan and keep adding that to the soup as the day goes along. As more and more people come to eat with your chapter, you can make sure everyone has enough by preparing more courses. If you have been making a pot of rice and a pot of beans with stir fry, add a pot of steamed squash with carrots, a pot of soup, and a garden salad. Each additional dish makes it possible to feed more people without having to make more of the same item. Before long, your chapter can be providing nutritious meals for 400 or 500 people at a time. Recovering food and shopping, it is possible to recover most of your food by speaking with the employees at groceries, produce markets, bakeries, and food manufacturers. Ask them if they discard any food. Inquire if they would be willing to contribute any of their surplus food to feed the hungry, and ask them when it would be the most convenient time to recover the discarded food. If the manager is unwilling to be helpful, consider returning and speaking directly with the people responsible for taking the food to the bin. You may want to visit the establishments closest to where you plan to cook. Ask the workers if they discard any food, and ask if they would be willing to put it aside so that you can collect it. The produce distribution centers finish loading the delivery trucks early in the morning, so you might visit them at 7 or 8 o'clock. There will be rows of wholesale vendors, and you can walk to each stall and ask if they have any food they can't sell. Explain that you are collecting to feed the hungry. At first, you may want to offer to give them a couple of dollars, euros, or such for a case of whatever they can't sell. Before long, they will be donating cases of produce, often in better quality than the food that is for sale at local groceries. You can also ask bakeries if they have baked goods or bread they can't sell. You may have a tofu or other food manufacturer or distribution center in your community that can also contribute. At most times of the day, you can find a worker standing next to a cart in the produce department setting out fruit, or trimming the brown stems from chard and lettuce and ask them if they have items that they plan to throw away. You can gesture to the box of wilted produce on the lower level of their cart, and it is likely they will be pleased to help. Many produce workers are not aware that the food they are discarding can be used to make great meals. The management might claim that they can't donate any discarded food because the store could be sued if someone were made ill, but you can remind them of the Emerson Good Samaritan Act, which protects all companies from liability from being sued for food donated to groups feeding the hungry. About 1,400 calories worth of food is discarded per person each day in the United States, which adds up to 150 trillion calories a year. A study published in the journal PLOS One in 2009 finds that about 40% of all the food produced in the United States is tossed out. Timothy Jones, a University of Arizona archaeologist, conducted an eight-year government-financed study documenting that more than 40% of food 
grown in the United States is lost or thrown away at a cost of at least $100 billion annually to the economy and overtaxing of the soil and environment. While the United States is the most wasteful country, every society, including those in many parts of Africa and Asia, discards edible food every day. Try to obtain all the food you use through recovery or donations, however. Not all the ingredients for every recipe can be obtained in this way. In particular, cooking oils, spices, and dry goods are often difficult to come by as discarded food. Therefore, some shopping will probably be necessary. Even though it might cost a little more, shop at your local CEO op or health food store, buy organically grown food when possible, and avoid packaging as much as possible. Also, bring your own containers if the shop offers items in bulk. Every city has a produce distribution center where all the independent groceries and restaurants buy their fruit and vegetables. The delivery trucks head off to the grocery stores and restaurants early each morning, and by 8 or 9 a.m., the markets are discarding what they can't sell. Some distribution centers discard so much great food that they use large tractors to scrape up all the produce dumped off the loading docks. If you can get a van, truck, or other vehicle and arrive at the distribution center as they are ending their morning shift, you can likely get as much food as you could ever use just by asking. Produce warehouses and farmers markets might provide not only their discarded food, but can sell you cases of fruit and vegetables for next to nothing, making it possible to collect enough to feed hundreds of people with ease. We have found that if a vendor is reluctant to make a donation, offer 5 or $6 for a case, they might not be able to sell otherwise, and they will start to add more cases for free. In a few weeks, you will not even have to offer any money once they see that you are reliable. If someone donates food that includes meat, we urge you to donate the meat to other food programs that are not concerned about what they provide. They will be able to handle the meat more safely than we can. Sharing discarded meat can harm the people eating with us, cause the health department to disrupt our work, and send the message that we are not dedicated to nonviolence and have little concern for the environment and other beings. In the long run, try to shop as little as possible. Identify your regular food needs and study the food industry to find places where waste is created. Go to these places and arrange to recover food or to have it donated. There is no end to the number of programs you can support with free food if you can successfully learn this process. The vision of food not bombs is that of abundance, not scarcity. Food handling and storage. There are health and safety concerns related to food handling and storage you should bear in mind. Keep the length of time that you handle or store food as short as possible. If you do not handle any animal products, and if the length of time between food pickup and delivery is a matter of hours rather than days, there is almost no danger. Keep the food in a cool, dry place out of the sun, and wash your hands before handling it. Always wash vegetables before cooking them. If you are out in the field, this can be accomplished by having a fire gallon bucket of water into which you dip and scrub produce. And obviously, anybody who has a cold or the flu should not prepare or serve food until they are well. After events, there is sometimes food left over. Try to donate this to a local soup kitchen, smaller neighborhood shelter, or a group home rather than trying to find Wisto store and refrigerate it. In general, stored food is less nutritious and more susceptible to spoilage. It also requires additional energy to keep it refrigerated or frozen. Meanwhile, the food industry continues to produce more surplus every day. If you have no one to feed your prepared food to, divide it up among the volunteers and take it home. A number of Food Not Bombs groups have placed refrigerators with public access providing a way for people to help themselves between meals. In some locations, the low temperatures during the winter have made it possible to store food in enclosed porches or basements using the spaces as natural refrigerators. In warm climate chest shade, it's important for items you intend to keep from becoming warm, even if it adjusts while you are sharing the meal. Our volunteers follow these simple steps to make sure our meals are always safe. Again, the main safety measure we implement is that all our food is vegan or vegetarian. We also share the meals before harmful bacteria have a chance to threaten people's health. We generally share our meals so fast. There is little chance bacteria will have a chance to grow to harmful levels. Bacteria multiply most rapidly between 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius, and 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius, a range known as the food temperature danger zone. After three hours in this zone, bacteria may start to become a safety issue, particularly if the meal includes meat or dairy. Your meals will leave the stove above 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius, and still be at that temperature by the time you are sharing it with your community. Your chapter can place the prepared food into cooler stove, keep the food outside the food temperature danger zone. Some groups prepare their meals on propane stoves or over wood fires on site, which also protects the public from harmful bacteria. We also ask that volunteers who smoke to wait until they are finished cooking or serving the meal and remember to wash their hands before returning to cook or share food. Washing your hands with soap and warm water after going to the toilet is also an important way to protect the community in providing free vegan meals. Simple low tech practices like washing our produce and our hands and preparing only vegan meals in a short amount of time protects the community we are feeding. Composting. Food, not bombs, often collects food that can't be made into, something edible. These scraps are perfect for compost. Your group can make arrangements to donate the food waste that can't be used in your meals to people with compost piles or your chapter can start a compost bin of your own. When you are cooking, you can place the slimy produce in a bucket or empty produce box. Carrot tops, apple and pear cores, wilted collards and all the sections of produce you can't use can be collected and taken to a compost bin after you finish cleaning up after your regular meal. Your contribution to the compost completes the circle so nothing is wasted. Compost will provide great nutrition to your garden and, in turn, this nutrition will be transferred to the produce and grains you harvest.
Place the food scraps in the compost bin and add an equal amount of leaves, grass clippings, and dirt. Use a shovel to mix it all together. Terry Compost of East Bay Food Not Bombs notes, in her gardening workshop at People's Park, half browns and half greens, half browns, half greens, and mix it all up. Food Not Bombs has so much green material that we often need to import our browns. It is possible to add manure, although there are discussions about whether this will mean your garden is not vegan. All animals produce manure, and we found our friends who have horses provide great manure. We used the oldest dry waste and mixed it with the compost for our food, not lawns garden, and we were very impressed by the health of our vegetables. For best results, you can have two or three bins with different ages of compost. As your first compost is becoming close to decomposing, you can start to place your greens into the newer compost bin. As your compost breaks down, the pile will get smaller. You can water your compost if it does not get rain. It is good to let it dry out sometimes, so don't water your compost bin too often. You can add earthworms, or you may add your compost to your gardens before you plant your seeds and after your harvest. It is also possible to add it around your plants as they grow. There are many great books on composting, and as your chapter will be able to contribute to your community's composting needs, it might be good to read a book or two to get more ideas on the value and process of being a good composter. While all our food scraps are great for healthy compost, don't add ashes from your grill, animal fats, newspapers, magazines, or feces from your cat's litter box or from your dogs. This can add poisons to your vegetable garden and harm the decomposition of your browns and greens. If you live near bears, remember to mix the fruit scraps in really well with the browns and a little soil so the bears are not. Tempted to destroy your compost bins, food not bombs recipes, how to use these vegan recipes. Over the years, Food Not Bombs has developed recipes specific to the food that is recovered and easily available in quantities required. Some groups may find these recipes useful, others may want to invent their own based on the food available and the need in their area. These recipes are a selection, some easy and others more challenging, some for events and others for street actions. All are inexpensive, feed a large number of people, and if prepared with care, taste great. The suggested number of servings for each recipe is based upon a somewhat small serving, approximately 6 to 7 ounces or 250 milliliters, for soups and drinks, and 8 ounces or 227 grams for solid foods. If you serve a larger portion, be sure to adjust the numbers accordingly. The measurements are based on those used in the United States and don't need to be exact, but will provide you with a good idea of the amounts we have used for over 30 years. We suggest using large utensils. Every recipe requires a sharp vegetable knife, a cutting board, assorted mixing bowls and spoons, and so on. If you do not have access to large cookware, the recipes can be cut in halves or quarters, and several crews can operate simultaneously and produce the same volume. It is possible to feed 4,000 people with four two-burner propane stoves and a hose for running water. The times given for prep work and cooking are for more experienced cooks. If it is your first time with a recipe, then you can expect to take as much as twice the time suggested here. The prep time is also for one person and can usually be shortened with more volunteers. All quantities are to taste. If using oils, use enough to cover the bottom of the pot. Spices are light, so if your community likes spicy food, increase the amount of spices used. Keep the salt light, use a small amount as it changes the chemistry of the recipe. You can also leave out the salt, oil, and sugar for a very healthy diet called the soes free plant-based diet. Let people salt and pepper their own portion. Use more of the main ingredients if you have them or if you can afford them. Tel Aviv food, not bombs, is ready for dinner. Drinks bread and pastries. Sun tea. Sun tea is magical and provides a refreshing touch to a day at the literature table, tabling at concerts, or the enjoyment of your group's regular meals. Nothing brings renewed enthusiasm to the picket line during a strike or blockade of logging trucks more than refreshing sun tea. Collect empty gallon or four liter glass jars from restaurants, or you may need to buy them from discount or dollar stores. Fill them with fresh water and shake in loose leaf. Tea or seven or eight tea bags per gallon of water, and set in the sun for two to three hours. The most refreshing teas are mint, hibiscus, darjeeling, oolong, and green. Organic teas have the best flavor and can provide the most enjoyable drink. Dry tea per gallon of water, 113 grams, four ounces. Almond milk. Soak almonds in water for six hours in a cool place like a refrigerator. Drain and rinse the soaked almonds. Place almonds in a blender or food processor and add water. Blend and strain the large parts out pouring through cheesecloth, very loosely woven gauze, or silk screen. 5 cups, 1.2 kilograms, 40 ounces. Almonds. Tofu smoothie. This is the smoothie used in the tofu challenge. Take your discarded fruit and cut out the bad parts and cut up the rest in small chunks. Add the fruit to water and soft tofu in a blender or food processor. Blend until smooth. Add more water to make it the best texture for drinking. 5 cups, 1.2 kilograms, 40 ounces. Fruit. 1 cup, 227 grams, 8 ounces, soft tofu, 1 cup, 250 milliliters, water. Simple recipes. The following recipes are based on the kinds of food you are likely to receive from your free food recovery. These recipes are easy to prepare for beginners and are vegan, with no dairy, eggs, or meat. Try to collect organic produce whenever possible. In some areas of the world, it may be difficult to find some of these ingredients. And other attempts may be very common. Maple syrup can be difficult to get, yet vegan sweeteners such as sugar cane or beet sugar may be easy to find. Other items like tofu may be hard to locate, but soybeans are not hard to come by in most parts of the world, so we are providing a tofu recipe. The easiest item to prepare for serving is day-old bread and pastries. After collecting day-olds and seconds from local bakeries, place the cut loaves in a large clear plastic container with a lid. 
Attach a set of tongs to the container with a wire or a string. Utensils are easily lost, so tying them down is desirable. Tongs are used so that people do not handle the bread with their hands. It is also possible to bake your own bread in a solar oven. The typical solar oven needs four to six hours of time in the summer sun and six to eight hours in the winter sun. If you make a large solar oven, you can design it to bake many loaves of bread. The typical commercial solar oven bakes two loaves at a time, and with some planning, you could prepare eight loaves in two days. A large homemade solar oven could bake a dozen or more loaves in two days. While it is easy to collect huge amounts of day-old bread, baking solar bread on-site at your regular meal can be an interesting attraction, and it could inspire interest in the subject of a solar-powered future. Solar Uprising Bread for the Change We Need Now. Four loaves, two TBSP, 28 grams, one ounce, dry yeast, five cups, 1.25 liter, 40 ounces, hot water, one half cup, 125 milliliters, Oil, 1 half cup, 125 milliliters. Warm water, 2 TBSP, 30 milliliters. Salt, 1 half cup, 113 grams, 4 ounces. Organic sugar or apple juice, 12 cups. Organic whole wheat, organic unbleached white flour or organic rice flour, or 7 cups whole wheat flour and 5 cups white flour, or any combination of flours adding up to 12 cups. Sprinkle yeast into 1 half cup warm water. It should not be boiling or close to boiling when adding the yeast or the bread will not rise. Let stand 10 to 15 minutes. Add 1 tablespoon of your sugar or juice to the warm water and yeast. Slowly combine the remaining four one half cups hot water with seven cups flour in a large bowl. Add salt, oil, sugar, and prepared yeast to mixture and blend thoroughly. Continue mixing until well blended. Continue to add flour and water until it is a ball of dough. Knead the dough for 10 minutes or until there is a consistency like cookie dough. You may add flour as you go. A stickier dough will result in moister bread. Oil hands and divide dough into four parts and place in pans. Cover loaves with damp cloth or pot lid and let rise one third in bulk. Place loaf pans in dark pans with lids, or insert an empty loaf pan on top of each loaf of dough. Cover. Place in solar oven by 11 a.m. Cook four to six hours, turning stove towards the sun. As the aroma of baked bread drifts from the oven, you know it won't be long before it is time to unlock the oven to remove your four loaves. Remember the bread pans will be hot enough to burn your fingers, so use pot holders to lift the pans out of your oven. Raw vegetables. You will usually collect a large amount and wide variety of fresh raw vegetables. Most of these raw vegetables can be served as they are after a simple rinse. Many soup kitchens do not offer fresh vegetables at their meals, so they are greatly appreciated by people on the street. Be sure to have them available in abundance. You can make many different kinds of raw vegetable salads depending upon what kind of vegetables you receive on any particular day. Wash any vegetables, which can be eaten raw, and cut them into bite-sized pieces. Mix the vegetables together, especially with cabbage or lettuce, and serve as a salad. Add dressing, if any, to salad just before serving, but do not dress the entire salad at once. A dressed salad becomes soggy and unappetizing and will not stay fresh overnight. You can also make a jar of vinegar and oil dressing and provide it on the side so people can add as much as they need. For those who do not use oil, you can provide lemons, vinegar, and nutritional yeast. Root vegetables can be used for stir-free stews and sandwiches, steamed or in soups. Do not use any part of vegetables that are moldy. The mycelia, roots of molds, spread throughout the whole vegetable and are invisible and often tasteless, so they are difficult to detect. Many people are allergic to molds, and they could have a reaction from even the okay part because of invisible mycelium. Sprouts. Sprouts are a great way to provide additional nutrition and a living food to sandwiches, salads, and many other items on your menu. Sprouts increase the protein, fiber, and vitamins of the seeds, nuts, beans, or grains significantly. Take free or inexpensive food and increase volume, nutrition, and energy with just these few simple steps. Inspect the seeds, nuts, beans, or grains, and remove the broken shriveled ones. You may find tiny rocks. Rinse them and place them in a bowl of fresh filtered or spring water. Tap water, if not from your own well, can reduce the value and may even contribute to illness over time. The water should be 2 or 3 inches or 5 to 8 centimeters above the seeds, beans, nuts, or grains. Leave overnight or for the seeds and grains 8 to 10 hours and the beans and nuts 12 to 24 hours depending on the size or hardness. Put the soaked seeds, nuts, beans, or grains into your gallon or 4 liter glass jar and tightly stretch cheesecloth, very loosely woven gauze or silk screen across the top. A strong, thick rubber band is the best way to attach the cloth but produce ties, bailing wire, or string can work. With the beans or nuts, it's a good idea to drain them into colanders or strainers first before putting them into the jar. Fill the jar of items with water, drain through the cloth, and shake out as much of the water as possible. If the seeds, nuts, beans, and grains are too wet in the first few days, they could rot. You can lean the jar on its side with the top tilting down on the first day or two to make sure the items are not sitting in water. Rinse each morning and evening, shaking out all the water for four to five days or less if the weather is warm, and you will start to see the items sprouting. Rinse them one last time and they are ready to eat. Add them to your solar bread, salad, sandwiches, top off your rice and stir fry, or use them in any of dozens of other ways. Use organic seeds, nuts, beans, or grains. Seeds, alfalfa, clover, and sunflower, nuts, hazelnuts, and almonds, bean, mung, lentils, fenugreek, and chickpea. Grains, wheat berries, and rye, steamed vegetables. The mainstay of food, not bombs donated food, is fresh vegetables. Lots and lots of chard, broccoli, mustard greens, summer squash, carrots, beets, rutabagas, turnips, and winter squash. Many vegetables, especially dark green, leafy, and root vegetables, can be washed, steamed, and served as they are. 
Chop the vegetable into bite-sized pieces and place in a metal colander. Place the colander inside a large pot which has a small amount of water an inch or so in the bottom and turn on the gas. First add the harder vegetables like carrots, turnips, parsnips, and rutabagas. After they steam until soft, add the leafy vegetables. Cook until soft and serve immediately. You can steam vegetables in your solar oven by adding a bit of water before closing the lid on your pot. To make your steamed vegetables even more tasty, saute finely chopped garlic and onions in oil or dry pan, then add the steamed vegetables. Swish the vegetables, garlic, and salt around in the oily or dry pan at a pretty high heat for a couple of minutes at most, and then serve. Add some sunflower or sesame seeds to the sautéed. Garlic if you happen to have those in your donations. Pasta. Pasta is a great food to prepare when you are running late, short on volunteers, or just want to add variety. Fill pot with water. Bring the water to a boil. Add pasta and stir a couple of strokes to keep pasta from sticking. Keep the water boiling until the pasta is soft. Or you can take out a piece of pasta to taste to see if it is cooked. The time will vary with the size of the pasta you are cooking. Once the pasta is soft, turn off the stove and drain the pasta by pouring into a colander. You can let the pasta cool and use as pasta salad or share as a hot dish with tomato sauce or topped with vegetable stir-fry or tomato sauce. There will be days when your local produce market is donating an abundance of very ripe tomatoes. It's time to make tomato sauce. In a saucepan, saute garlic and onions in a small amount of oil or dry pan. Add spices like oregano, basil, thyme, bay leaf, rosemary, and so on. Add fresh, chopped tomatoes, and if you like, Include vegetables like carrots, beets, green peppers, broccoli, and so forth. Stir often and cook on a pretty low heat until all the vegetables are soft and the sauce becomes thick. Serve over pasta, rice, or bread, or use as a base for chili or vegetable stew, rice, and beans. Start with two pots, one for rice and one for beans. For best results, soak your beans in three to four times the amount of water to volume of dried beans the evening before. Pour off the bean water and then pour the plump beans into a half gallon or two liters of water and boil for 45 minutes to an hour or until soft. In the second pot, add four liters or one gallon of water and turn up the heat high. And as it is boiling, pour in two liters of dry rice and uh, reduce the heat as low as possible. If you are making rice at a high altitude above 1,500 meters or 5,000 feet in elevation, you can add two more liters or a half a gallon of water to this formula. Let the beans boil for 45 minutes or less if you soak them beforehand. Cover the rice pot, lower the heat, and continue slowly boiling over low heat until all the water is absorbed, or approximately 45 minutes. At higher altitude, you might turn off the heat after 20 to 30 minutes. Do not stir at all after the rice is cooking. In a large pot, saute garlic and onions in oil or dry pan until clear. Once clear, add about a quarter to half cup of coriander or cumin, some pepper, salt, and any vegetables you desire, such as carrots or tomatoes. Saute the vegetables until soft. Turn off all pots and mix in the vegetable saute to the rice, followed by the beans. If it is cold out, you might want to dish out each item when sharing the meal so they stay as hot as possible, as mixing them could cause the items to cool. You can also make rice and beans in the same pot, which can be a great way to prepare this complete protein in the cold of winter. In a large pot, saute garlic and onions in oil or a dry pan until clear. Add water and beans. The proportions are one part bean stow, two parts rice to five parts water, more water if at a high altitude. Let the beans boil for 45 minutes or less if you soak them beforehand. Add rice, one quarter cup of coriander or cumin per gallon, or four liters, some pepper, and any vegetables if desired, such as onions, carrots, or dried tomatoes. Cover the pot and return to a rapid boil. Stir the beans up from the bottom at this point, then lower the heat and continue boiling over low heat until all the water is absorbed, or approximately 45 minutes. Do not stir more than once after the rice is in so it stays fluffy. Fruit salad. Wash and cut the fruit, then mix together. It can be better for digestion to serve melon separately, but not absolutely necessary. Add raisins, nuts, shredded coconut and or sunflower seeds. Lemon juice can be used to prevent fruit from turning brown and to add flavor. Mint can also be a great addition. This is a very popular dish when the weather is warm. Cut off the stems and overly ripe parts into a compost bucket. If you live near bears, mix your discarded fruit-based compost with as much dirt and leaves as you can, or bears will come and destroy your compost pile. I know this from experience. Sharing meals on May Day in Melbourne, Australia. Breakfast, oatmeal for 100 makes, 100 servings need, 24 quart, 24 liter cooking pot prep time, one minute cooking time, or 10 to 12 minutes, three gals, 11 liters, water one cup, 250 milliliters. Vanilla one cup, 250 milliliters. 227 grams, 8 ounces. Maple syrup, molasses, dark agave nectar, bananas, raisins or apple cider 2 TBSP. 28 grams, sea salt, optional, 50 cups, 12, 500 milliliters. 1,300 grams, 400 ounces. Rolled oats, other options, 10 cups, 5 LBs, 2.3 kilograms. Raisins or chopped apples, 8 cups, 4 LBs, 1.8 kilograms. Shredded coconut, 4 TBSP. 57 grams, 2 ounces, nutmeg. Bring water to a boil in a large pot. Add remaining ingredients, return to a boil, then turn to low heat. Stir often. Cook for two to five minutes. Remove from heat. 
You can serve with margarine and sweetener, or substitute bananas or apple juice to sweeten the oatmeal. Oatmeal for six makes, six servings need, two quart, two liter, cooking pot prep time, one minute cooking time, 10 to 12 minutes, one half gallon, 64, Oz. Two liters, water, two TBSP, 28 grams, one ounce. Vanilla, one quarter cup, 57 grams, two ounces. Maple syrup, molasses, or dark agave nectar. Bananas, raisins, or apple cider, three TBSP. 43 grams, one ounce. Sea salt optional, four cups, 908 grams, 32 ounces. Rolled oats, other options, one half cup. Raisins or chopped apples, one eighth cup. 28 grams, one ounce. Shredded coconut, one TBSP. 14 grams, two ounces. Nutmeg. Bring water to a boil in a large pot. Add remaining ingredients, return to a boil, then turn to low heat. Stir often. Cook for two to five minutes. Remove from heat. You can serve with vegan margarine and sweetener, or substitute bananas or apple juice to sweeten the oatmeal. Cooking in Buenos Aires, Argentina granola for 100. Makes about 20 LBs, 9 kilograms of granola. Need large mixing bowl, medium saucepan, several flat baking trays. Preheat oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 150 Celsius prep time, 30 minutes bake time, 45 to 60 minutes. 40 cups, 20 LBs, 9 kilograms. Rolled oats, 40 cups, 20 LBs, 9 kg. Barley flakes, 10 cups, 5 LBs, 2.3 kilograms. Almonds, 10 cups, 5 LBs. 2.3 kilograms, shredded coconut, 5 cups, 2.5 LBs, 1.1 kilograms, sunflower seeds, 2 cups, 1 LBs, 454 grams, sesame seeds, 6 cups, 3 pints, 1.4 liters, olive oil, optional, 5 cups, 300 milliliters, maple syrup, molasses, or dark agave nectar, bananas, raisins, or apple cider, 1 half cup, 125 milliliters, 4 ounces, vanilla, 10 cups, 5 LBs, 2.3 kilograms, raisins or chopped apples, 1 TBSP, 14 grams, salt optional alternatives, wheat flakes or rye flakes. Mix dry ingredients together in a large bowl. In a saucepan, heat oil if using it, maple syrup and vanilla, only until warm enough to soak into the dry ingredients. Pour this mixture over the dry ingredients and mix thoroughly, then spread into several flat baking trays. The layer of granola should be no more than one inch thick. Toast in a 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 150 Celsius oven for 15 to 20 minutes, stirring every few minutes. Granola is done when golden brown. Mix in raisins at this point. When cool, serve granola with soy milk or fruit juice and sliced fresh fruit. Granola for six makes about four LBs, two kilograms, 1,000 grams, 62 ounces. Of granola need, large mixing bowl, medium saucepan, two flat baking trays preheat oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 150 Celsius prep time, 30 minutes bake time, 15 to 20 minutes, two cups, 450 milliliters. 454 grams, 16 ounces. Rolled oats, two cups, 450 milliliters. 454 grams, 16 ounces. Barley flakes, one quarter cup, 60 milliliters, 45 grams, 2 ounces, almonds, 1 quarter cup, 60 milliliters, 45 grams, 2 ounces, shredded coconut, 1 eighth cup, 30 milliliters, 28, 3 grams, 1 ounce, sunflower seeds, 1 eighth cup, 30 milliliters, 28, 3 grams, 1 ounce, sesame seeds, 1 quarter cup, 60 milliliters, 45 grams, 2 ounces, olive oil, optional, 1 quarter cup, 60 milliliters, 45 grams, 2 ounces, maple syrup, molasses, or dark agave nectar, bananas, raisins, or apple cider, 1 TBSP, 15 miles, 4 FL Oz, vanilla 1 cup, 225 miles, 227 grams, 8 ounces, raisins or apple 3 quarters teaspoon, 4 milliliters, 15 grams, 1, 2 ounces, salt, optional, alternatives, wheat flakes or rye flakes. Mix dry ingredients together in a large bowl. In a saucepan, heat oil, if using it, maple syrup and vanilla, only until warm enough to soak into the dry ingredients. Pour this mixture over the dry ingredients and mix thoroughly, then spread into several flat baking trays. The layer of granola should be no more than 1 inch thick. Toast in a 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 150 Celsius oven for 15 to 20 minutes, stirring every few minutes. Granola is done when golden brown. Mix in raisins at this point. When cool, serve granola with soy milk or fruit juice and sliced fresh fruit. Enjoying lunch in Nairobi, Kenya scrambled tofu for 24 makes, 24 servings equipment, very large skillet prep time, 15 minutes cooking time, 30 to 40 minutes, one cup, 240 milliliters. Olive oil optional, two heads garlic, pressed five onions, chopped 10 LBs, 4.5 kilograms, tofu three TBSP, 43 grams, 1, 2 ounces, turmeric, 1 quarter cup, 57 grams, 2 ounces, garlic powder, optional, add more fresh garlic, 1 quarter cup, 60 milliliters, tamari or soy sauce, 2 cups, 1 LBs, 454 grams, nutritional yeast, 1 cup, 227 grams, 8 ounces, sesame seeds, heat a very large skillet, saute garlic for 30 seconds, then add onions and saute until clear, squeeze tofu like a sponge until all excess water is removed, then crumble into skillet and saute until tofu starts to brown, add turmeric, garlic powder, tamari or soy sauce, and nutritional yeast. Mix well and remove from heat. Serve hot with dry roasted sunflower and sesame seeds and or catsup. To dry roast sunflower and sesame seeds, heat a dry clean skillet and add enough sunflower seeds to cover bottom. Stir constantly once they start to brown. 
They may smoke some, but keep stirring until both sides of most seeds are brown. Then add sesame seeds. Keep stirring. The sesame seeds will start to pop and some will pop right out of the skillet. Roast the sesame seeds for one or two minutes more until the popping starts to decrease. Remove seeds from skillet immediately and let cool in a metal or ceramic bowl. Tamari or soy sauce can be added to the seeds at the very end, if desired. Food Not Bombs in Bandung, Indonesia. Scrambled tofu for six home freeze for 100. Makes six servings makes 100 servings. Equipment, large skillet equipment, 40 quart, 40 liter pot, one very large skillet. Prep time, 15 minutes preheat oven, 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 65 Celsius. Cooking time, 30 to 40 minutes. 1 8 cup, 30 milliliters, 1 FL Oz. Olive oil optional, prep time, 2 hours. Parboil potatoes, 2 to 3 cloves of garlic, press cooking time, 1 hour, 15 minutes. 1 half onions, chop 6 gals, 24 liters, water. 3 LBs, 135 kilograms, tofu 100 potatoes, washed and cubed. 3 teasp, 14 milliliters, 14 grams, 1 2 ounces. Turmeric, 1 quarter cup. 57 grams, 2 ounces. Sea salt, optional, 6 teasp, 28 grams. Garlic powder, optional fresh garlic. 6 teasp, 30 milliliters, 1 ounce. Tamari or soy sauce, 1 quarter cup, 57 grams, 2.0 Z. Nutritional yeast, 1 quarter cup, 57 grams, 2 ounces. Sesame seeds, heat a large skillet. Saute garlic for 30 seconds, then add onions and saute until clear. Squeeze tofu like a sponge until all excess water is removed, then crumble into skillet and saute until tofu starts to brown. Add turmeric garlic powder, or soy sauce and nutritional yeast. Mix well and remove from heat. Serve hot with dry roasted sunflower and sesame seeds and or catsup. To dry roast sunflower and sesame seeds, heat a dry clean skillet and add enough sunflower seeds to cover bottom. Or stir constantly once they start to brown. They will smoke some but keep stirring until both sides of most seeds are brown. Then add sesame seeds. Keep stirring. The sesame seeds will start to pop and some will pop right out of the skillet. Roast the sesame seeds for one or two minutes more until the popping starts to decrease. Remove seeds from skillet immediately and let cool in a metal or ceramic bowl. Tamari or soy sauce can be added to the seeds at the very end, if desired. In a very large pot 40 QT or larger, bring water to a boil approximately one hour. Carefully add potatoes so there is no splashing and bring to a second boil. Continue boiling until potatoes just start to turn soft, about 10 to 15 minutes. Drain and cool or immediately saute. Cool potatoes by running cold water over them in a colander or just fill the pot with cold water after draining it. 2 cups, 1 half liter, 1 pint, olive oil optional, 4 heads garlic, diced, 15 onions chopped, 4 cups, 2 LBs, 910 grams, nutritional yeast, 2 cups, 1 half liter, 1 pint, tamari, or soy sauce, 1 cup, 1 half LB, 227 grams, cumin, over high heat, saute about 3 TBSP of diced garlic for 30 seconds in oiled or dry skillet, add about 2 cups of onions and saute until clear, about 3 to 5 minutes, stirring often, then add enough potatoes to fill the skillet and fry until they start to brown, keep stirring, and scrape the bottom of the skillet occasionally. Sprinkle in some of the yeast, cumin, and tamari or soy sauce while stirring. Hint, mix tamari or soy sauce with equal parts water for more even distribution when sprinkling. Mix well an empty skillet into a large metal serving bowl. Place in a 150 degree oven to keep warm. Repeat the process until all the potatoes are cooked or everyone is fed. Serve home freeze hot with dry roasted sunflower and sesame seeds and or catsup. What about meat donations? Sharing lunch in San Francisco, California. Food Not Bombs shares vegan or vegetarian food to protect the safety of those eating our meals as well as the safety of the animals and the earth. Breads and pastries are the only items that might be vegetarian. If you find that someone has donated meat to your group, you can give it to another food program that does give out meat. Home freeze for six lunch and dinner makes, six servings equipment, four quart, four liter pot, one large skillet preheat oven, 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 65 Celsius prep time, two hours parboiled potatoes cooking time, one hour, 15 minutes, five cups, 1.2 liters, 40 ounces. Water six to eight potatoes, washed and cubed one TBSP, 14 grams sea salt optional. In a large pot, bring water to a boil approximately one hour. Carefully add potatoes so there is no splashing and bring to a second boil. Continue boiling until potatoes just start to turn soft, about 10-15 minutes. Drain and cool or immediately saute. Cool potatoes by running cold water over them in a colander or just filling the pot with cold water after draining it. One cup, 250 milliliters, 225 grams, eight ounces. Olive oil optional, four cloves garlic. Dice two to three onions, chop two TBSP. 28 grams, nutritional yeast, 4 TBSP, 56 grams, tamari or soy sauce, 2 TBSP, uh, 28 grams, cumin. Over high heat, saute about 3 TBSP of diced garlic for 30 seconds in enough oil or dry skillet. Add about 2 cups of onions and saute until clear, about 3 to 5 minutes, stirring often. Then add enough potatoes to fill the skillet and fry until they start to brown. Keep stirring and scrape the bottom of the skillet occasionally. Sprinkle in some of the yeast, cumin and tamari, or soy sauce while stirring. Hint, mix tamari or soy sauce with equal parts water for more even distribution when sprinkling. Mix well an empty skillet into a large metal serving bowl. Place in a 150 degree oven to keep warm. Repeat the process until all the potatoes are cooked or everyone is fed. Serve home freeze hot with dry roasted sunflower and sesame seeds and or catsup. You can cook the potatoes without oil. 
tofu sandwich spread for 100 makes, 100 sandwiches equipment, medium mixing bowl, very large mixing bowl prep time, 2 hours 3 cups, 1 half LBS, 680 grams, miso 3 cups, 1 half LBS, 680 grams, water 8 cups, 2 liters, tahini 25 LBS, 11. 35 kilograms. Crumbled tofu firm can be the best 25 lemons juice of other options 2 TBSP. 28 grams, 1 ounce. Cumin or coriander, 1 half cup. 113 grams, 4 ounces. Garlic powder, 8 cups, 4 LBs. 1.8 kilograms. Diced onion, 8 cups, 4 LBs. 1.8 kilograms. Diced celery, 3 cups, 1 half LBs. 680 grams. Alaria, dulse, kelp, nori, or other seaweed. The process is the same for making tofu spread for 100 as you would for 6 people. In the medium bowl, mix the miso and water into a smooth paste, then add tahini to the mix. Add additional water to make a smooth, creamy paste. Drain tofu of excess water and crumble by hand into the very large bowl. Squeeze the lemon juice over the tofu. Add miso tahini mixture and mix well. Add optional ingredients if desired and spread on your favorite bread with lettuce, sprouts, and tomato slices. Vegan tuna-like tofu spread crushed seaweed into the tofu spread to give it a tuna-like taste. You can use alaria, dulse, kelp, nori, or any edible seaweed you happen to find. Again, harvesting seaweed yourself can also be rewarding. It is important to stay clear from areas where the seaweed could be contaminated with oil, radiation, or other toxins. Tofu sandwich spread for six makes, six sandwiches equipment, mixing bowl prep time, two hours, one quarter cup, 57 grams, two ounces. Miso, one quarter cup, 60 milliliters, water, one cup, 250 milliliters. Tahini, two LBs, nine KLG. Crumbled tofu, soft can be the best, two lemons, juice of other options, two TSP, 10 grams, cumin or coriander, two to three cloves, crushed garlic, one small onion, diced two stalks, 114 grams, four ounces. Diced celery, 1 8 cup, 28 grams, 1 ounce. Alaria, dulse, kelp, nori, or other seaweed. In one bowl, mix the miso and water into a smooth paste. Then add tahini to the mix, add additional water to make a smooth, creamy paste. Drain tofu of excess water and crumble by hand into the very large bowl. Squeeze the lemon juice over the tofu. Add miso tahini mixture and mix well. Add optional ingredients if desired and spread on your favorite bread with lettuce, sprouts, and tomato slices. Vegan tuna-like tofu spread. Crush seaweed into the tofu spread to give it a tuna-like taste. You can use alaria, dulse, kelp, nori, or any edible seaweed you happen to find. Harvesting seaweed yourself can also be rewarding. Rice and beans together in one pot for 100 makes, 100 servings equipment, 40 quart, 38 liter pot with a tight fitting lid prep time, 30 minutes cooking time, 50 minutes, 8 gals, 31 liters, water 1 quarter cup, 57 grams, 2 ounces, sea salt, optional, 4 cups, 2 LBs, 900 grams, cumin or coriander, 1 quarter cup, 57 grams, 2 ounces, black pepper 10 LBS. 4, 5 kilograms, pinto beans soaked the night before, 15 LBs, 6, 8 kilograms, long grain brown rice, dry 10 onions, chopped. Bring water to a boil in a 40-quart pot with a tight-fitting lid. Add beans and boil for 45 minutes, then add rice and spices. Bring to a rapid boil again, stir once, being sure to stir the beans up from the bottom. Then cover, reduce to very low heat, and let simmer for another 45 minutes. Do not stir or open cover until it is done so the rice is fluffy. Remove from heat and serve hot, plain, or with cooked vegetables or tomato sauce. Rice and beans together in one pot for six makes, six servings equipment, four quart, four liter pot with a tight fitting lid prep time, 30 minutes cooking time, 50 minutes, five cups, 1.2 liters, water one TBSP. 14 grams, sea salt optional, two TBSP, 28 grams, cumin or coriander, one TBSP. 14 grams, black pepper, two cups, one LBs. 454 grams, pinto beans soak the night before, two cups, one LBs. 454 grams, long grain brown rice, one onion, chopped. Bring water to a boil in a 4-quart, four 4-liter four pot with a tight-fitting lid. Add beans and boil for 45 minutes, then add rice and spices. Rice and spices. Bring to a rapid boil again, stir once, being sure to stir the beans up from the bottom. Then cover, reduce to very low heat, and let simmer for another 45 minutes. Do not stir or open cover until it is done so the rice is fluffy. Remove from heat and serve hot, plain or with cooked vegetables or tomato sauce. Eating with food, not bombs in Minsk. Tomato sauce with vegetables for 100 makes, 100 servings equipment, 24 quart, 22 liter pot with a lid prep time, 1 hour cooking time, 1 hour or more, 1 cup, 240 milliliters, 8 ounces, olive oil optional, 1 head garlic, diced 10 onions, chopped 10, 16 ounces, 4.5 kilograms, 454 grams, cans of tomatoes, also make your own tomato paste, 10 LBS, 4.5 kilograms, 160 ounces, assorted vegetables, chopped finely, 2 TBSP, 114 grams, 4 ounces, Basil, 2 TBSP, 114 grams, 4 ounces. Thyme, 10 bay leaves, 2 TBSP, 114 grams, 4 ounces. Sea salt optional, 2 TBSP, 114 grams, 4 ounces. Black pepper. Tomato sauce with vegetables for 6 makes, 6 servings equipment, 4 quart, 4 liter pot with a lid prep time, 1 hour cooking time, 1 hour or more, 1 cup, 240 milliliters, 8 ounces. Olive oil optional, 2 to 3 cloves of garlic, diced 1 onion, chopped 1 16 ounces. 454 grams can of tomatoes, also make your own tomato paste. 
6 cups, 1.35 kilograms. 3 LBs, assorted vegetables, chopped finely 2 TSP, 28 grams, 1 ounce. Basil 2 TSP, 28 grams, 1 ounce. Thyme 3 bay leaves 2 TSP, 7 grams, 1 ounce. Sea salt, optional, 2 TSP, 7 grams, 1 ounce. Black pepper, heat a heavy, 24 quart pot dryer with oil. Add garlic and saute for 30 seconds. Add onions and spices and saute until onions are clear. Add tomatoes, bay leaf, salt, and pepper. Chop any vegetables you have on hand, especially broccoli, green peppers, beets, carrots, mushrooms, eggplant, and so on, and add to the sauce. Cover and simmer on medium-low heat for at least one hour, stirring occasionally. Add salt if you desire. Serve over rice, pasta, bread, or use as a base for vegan chili. Heat a 4-quart, four 4-liter four pot, dry or with oil. Add garlic and saute for 30 seconds. Add onions and spices and saute until onions are clear. Add tomatoes, bay leaf, salt, and pepper. Chop any vegetables you have on hand, especially broccoli, green peppers, beets, carrots, mushrooms, eggplant, and so on, and add to the sauce. Cover and simmer on medium-low heat for at least one hour, stirring occasionally. Add salt, if you desire. Serve over rice, pasta, bread, or use as a base for vegan chili. Food Not Bombs shares vegan meal in Tel Aviv, Israel. People waiting for Food Not Bombs in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Trident subs for 100 makes, 100 sandwiches equipment, 20-quart, 10-liter or larger pot prep time, 30 minutes cooking time, 1 hour or longer, 2 heads garlic, Diced 8 to 12 onions, chopped 1 half cup, 125 milliliters. 4 ounces, olive oil, optional, 1 TBSP, 14 grams, time 2 TSP, 10 grams, cayenne, 2 TBSP, 28 grams, 1 ounce. Sea salt, optional, 2 TBSP, 28 grams, 1 ounce. Black pepper, 3 or 4, 16 ounces. Cans tomatoes, or 20 to 30 fresh tomatoes, chopped 4 to 6 squash, zucchini, summer, winter, etc., 12 to 15, any root vegetable, carrots, potatoes, daikon, etc., Two bunches any dark green leafy vegetable, collards, kale, spinach, etc. Two cabbages or six eggplants, a hundred sandwich rolls. Saute the chopped garlic and onions in a dry pan or in oil over medium-high heat in a 20-quart, 10-liter or larger pot until the onions become clear. Add spices, then all the chopped vegetables and either fresh or canned tomatoes. If you do not have any tomatoes, add a little water to start the vegetables cooking. Stir often to prevent sticking. Once the liquid in the bottom starts to boil, lower heat to medium-low. Cook until the vegetables are soft and the sauce is thick like stew, usually about one hour, but simmering longer enhances the taste. Adjust seasonings, especially salt, pepper, and cayenne. Serve on a sandwich roll or over bread or brown rice on a plate. We call this a trident sub because it is spicy hot. Trident subs for six makes, six sandwiches equipment, four quart, four liter pot prep time, 30 minutes cooking time, one hour or longer, two to three cloves of garlic, diced one to two onions, chopped five TBSP. 75 milliliters, 2, 5 ounces. Olive oil optional, 2 TSP, 10 grams, 1 ounce. Time 3 quarters TSP, 4 grams. Cayenne, 1 TSP, 5 grams. Sea salt, optional, 1 TSP, 5 grams. Black pepper, 1 or 2 16 ounces. Cans tomatoes, or 2 to 4 fresh tomatoes. Chopped 1 to 2 squash, zucchini, summer, winter, etc. 3 to 5 root vegetables, carrots, potatoes, daikon, etc. 1 to 2 bunches, any dark green leafy vegetable, collards, kale, spinach, etc. 1 half cabbage or eggplant, 6 sandwich rolls can be baked in your solar oven. Saute the chopped garlic and onions in a dry pan or in oil over medium-high heat in a 4-quart, four 4-liter four or larger pot until the onions become clear. Add spices, then all the chopped vegetables and either fresh or canned tomatoes. If you do not have any tomatoes, add a little water to start the vegetables cooking. Stir often to prevent sticking. Once the liquid in the bottom starts to boil, lower heat to medium-low. Cook until the vegetables are soft and the sauce is thick like stew, usually about one hour, but simmering longer enhances the taste. Adjust seasonings, especially salt, pepper, and cayenne. Serve on a sandwich roll or over bread or brown rice on a plate. This trident sub is spicy hot. Hummus for 100 makes, 100 sandwiches equipment, 40 quart, 38 liter pot, very large mixing bowl, cooking time, 2 hours prep time, 2 hours 20 LBs, 9 kilograms. Cook chickpeas, 3 TBSP, 43 grams, sea salt optional, 20 cups, 5 liters, tahini, 50 lemons, juice of 2 heads garlic, dice 6 gals, 23 liters, water, other options. 10 cups, 2.5 liters, diced fresh parsley, 4 cups, 10000 milliliters. 908 grams, 32 ounces, diced onions, 1 cup, 250 milliliters, toasted sesame oil, optional, hummus for 6 makes, 6 sandwiches equipment, 4 quart, 4 liter pot, very large mixing bowl cooking time, 2 hours prep time, 2 hours, 2 LBs, 9 kilograms, cooked chickpeas, 1 TBSP, 14 grams, sea salt, optional, 2 cups, 500 milliliters, tahini, 5 lemons, juice of 1 head of garlic, diced 5 cups, 1.25 liters, 40 ounces. Water, other options, one quarter cup, 45 grams, diced fresh parsley, one small onion, diced onion, five TBSP, 75 milliliters. Toasted sesame oil, optional, soaked chickpeas overnight. Note, they will double in volume, so fill the container full of water and only half full of dry chickpeas. Drain the water and place chickpeas in a 40 quart, 38 liter pot with six gallons or 23 liters of fresh water and salt and bring to a rapid boil over high heat. Reduce heat and simmer for at least one hour or until chickpeas are easily mashed between fingers. 
in a very large mixing bowl, combine all ingredients, and with a food masher, mash chickpeas until smooth. An alternative is to place all ingredients into a food processor or blender and blend until smooth. Be sure to add water as necessary to create a creamy consistency. Let cool and serve as a sandwich in pita bread with sprouts and or lettuce and cucumbers, or as a dip for cut vegetables and wedges of pita bread. If used as a dip, sprinkle paprika over top. If using oil, drip it on top. Soak chickpeas overnight. Note, they will double in volume, so fill the container full of water and only half full of dried chickpeas. Drain the water and place chickpeas in a four quart, four liter pot with four quarts or four liters of fresh water and salt and bring to a rapid boil over high heat. Reduce heat and simmer for at least one hour or until chickpeas are easily mashed between fingers. In a very large mixing bowl, combine all ingredients and, with a food masher, mash chickpeas until smooth. An alternative is to place all ingredients into a food processor or blender and blend until smooth. Be sure to add water as necessary to create a creamy consistency. Let cool and serve as a sandwich in pita bread with sprouts and or lettuce and cucumbers, or as a dip for cut vegetables and wedges of pita bread. If used as a dip, sprinkle paprika over top. If using oil, drip it on top. Food Not Bombs shares breakfast in London, England. Macaroni and cheeseless for 90 macaroni and cheeseless for 6 makes, 90 servings makes, 6 servings equipment. 40 quart, 38 liter pot, very large mixing bowl, 312 x 18, 30 centimeters x 46 centimeters baking pans, preheat oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 176 Celsius prep time, 1 hour, 30 minutes. Equipment, 4 quart, 4 liter pot, very large mixing bowl, 112 x 18, 30 centimeters x 46 centimeters baking pans, preheat oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 176 Celsius prep time, 1 hour, 30 minutes. Baking time, 30 minutes, elbow macaroni. Baking time, 30 minutes, elbow macaroni. 8 gals, 30 liters, water 5 TBSP. 70 grams, sea salt optional, 20 LBs. 9 kilograms. Elbow macaroni, soy semolina, 4 QT, 4 liters, water 1 TBSP. 14 grams, sea salt optional, 2 LBs. 9 kilograms, elbow macaroni, soy semolina. Bring the water to a rapid boil in a 40 quart, 38 liter pot. Add macaroni and return to a boil. If you use salt, you can add it to the boiling water. Cook for about 10 minutes. Macaroni ought to be al dente, or firm but not hard, do not overcook. Drain and rinse with cold water until all macaroni is rinsed and cold, then set aside. Bring the water to a rapid boil in a 4 quart, 4 liter pot. Add macaroni and return to a boil. If you use salt, you can add it to the boiling water. Cook for about 10 minutes. Macaroni ought to be al dente, firm and not overcook. Drain and rinse with cold water until all macaroni is rinsed and cold, then set aside. Cheeseless for 90 36 cups, 8.2 kilograms. 18 LBS. Nutritional yeast. 12 cups, 5.5 kilograms, 12 LBs, unbleached white flour, 1 half cup, 114 grams, 4 ounces, garlic powder, 1 half cup, 114 grams, 4 ounces, sea salt, optional, 4 and a half gals, 17 liters, boiling water, 6 LBs, 2, 7 kilograms, vegan margarine, optional margarine has oil, 1 cup, 250 milliliters, wet mustard, cheeseless for 6, 3 cups, 680 grams, 24 ounces, nutritional yeast, 2 cups, 454 grams, 1 LBs, Unbleached white flour, 1 TBSP, 14 grams. Garlic powder, 1 TBSP, 14 grams. Sea salt, optional, 4 cups, 1 liter, 1 quart. Boiling water, 1 quarter cup, 57 grams, 2 ounces. Vegan margarine, optional, 3 TBSP, 45 grams. Wet mustard. In a large mixing bowl, combine nutritional yeast, flour, garlic powder, and salt if desired. Mix well. Add boiling water, 1 quart at a time, using a whip to stir. Add mustard and mix well. You may. Also, add margarine. Place the prepared macaroni in each of the baking pans. Cover with cheeseless sauce, making sure to coat each piece of macaroni. Sprinkle toasted sesame seeds or breadcrumbs over top. And bake in 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 176 Celsius oven for 30 minutes or until it is hot and bubbling. Serve hot. This dish freezes well. In a large mixing bowl, combine nutritional yeast, flour, garlic powder, and salt if desired. Mix well. Add boiling water, one quart at a time, using a whip to stir. Add mustard and mix well. You may also add margarine. Place the prepared macaroni in each of the baking pans. Cover with cheeseless sauce, making sure to coat each piece of macaroni. Piece of macaroni. Sprinkle toasted sesame seeds or breadcrumbs over top. And bake in 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 176 Celsius oven for 30 minutes or until it is hot and bubbling. Serve hot. This dish freezes well. Food Not Bombs joins March against the crisis of capitalism in Poland. Food Not Bombs provides vegan meals in the Florentine neighborhood of Tel Aviv, Israel. Cauliflower curry for 100 cauliflower curry for six. Makes, 100 servings makes, 6 servings. Equipment, large skillet, large metal serving bowl equipment, skillet, metal serving bowl. Preheat oven, 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 65 Celsius preheat oven, 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 65 Celsius. Prep time, 1 hour, 15 minutes prep time, 1 hour, 15 minutes. Cooking time, 1 hour, 20 minutes cooking time, 1 hour, 20 minutes. 4 cups, 1 liter, 1 quart, olive oil, optional, 1 eighth cup, 30 milliliters, or 1 ounce, olive oil, optional. Three heads garlic, diced two to three cloves of garlic, diced 
20 onions, chopped 2 onions, chopped. 24 heads cauliflower, 1 case, chopped 2 heads cauliflower, chopped. 1 cup, 227 grams, 8 ounces, curry powder, 4 TBSP, 56 grams, curry powder. 1 cup, 227 grams, 8 ounces, cumin. 1 cup, 250 milliliters, tamari. 4 TBSP, 56 grams, white pepper. 2 TBSP, 28 grams, cumin. 5 TBSP, 70 grams, tamari. 1 TSP, 5 grams, white pepper. Saute about 3 heads of diced garlic for 30 seconds in a dry skillet or in oil over high heat. Add the 20 chopped onions and saute until clear, or about 3 to 5 minutes. Stir often. Add enough cauliflower to fill the skillet and fry until it starts to brown. Keep stirring, and scrape the bottom of the skillet occasionally. While stirring, sprinkle in some of the curry, cumin, pepper, and tamari. Hint, mix tamari with equal parts water for more even distribution when sprinkling. Mix well, and empty the skillet into a large metal serving bowl. Place in a 150 degree oven to keep warm, and repeat the process until all the cauliflower is cooked. Serve hot over brown rice. Saute about two heads of diced garlic for 30 seconds in a dry skillet or in oil over high heat. Add about a cup or so of onions and saute until clear, or about three to five minutes. Stir often. Add enough cauliflower to fill the skillet and fry until it starts to brown. Keep stirring, and scrape the bottom of the skillet occasionally. While stirring, sprinkle in some of the curry, cumin, pepper, and tamari. Hint, mix tamari with equal parts water for more even distribution when sprinkling. Mix well, and empty the skillet into a large metal serving bowl. Place in a 150 degree oven to keep warm, and repeat the process until all the cauliflower is cooked. Serve hot over brown rice. Brown rice for 100 makes, 100 servings equipment, 20 quart, 19 liter pot with a tight fitting lid prep time, 30 minutes cooking time, 50 minutes, three gals. Leaven, 5 liters, water, 3 TBSP, 42 grams, sea salt, optional, 15 LBs, 6, 8 kilo. Bring water to a boil in a 20 quart pot, 19 liter, with a tight fitting lid. Add rice and bring to a rapid second boil. If using salt, add it to the water. Stir once, cover, and reduce heat to very low. Let simmer for exactly 40 minutes. Do not uncover or stir until done so it will be fluffy. You can add 1 quart, 1 liter of water if cooking at high altitudes and turn the heat off after 20 to 30 minutes. Brown rice for 6 makes, 6 servings equipment, 4 quart, 4 liter pot with tight fitting lid prep time, 30 minutes cooking time, 50 minutes, 8 cups, 2 liters, 1 half gallon water, 1 TBSP. 14 grams, sea salt optional, 4 cups, 9 kilograms, 2 LBs, long grain brown rice. Bring water to a boil in a 4 quart, 4 liter pot with a tight fitting lid. If using salt, add it to the water. Add rice and bring to a rapid second boil. Stir once, cover, and reduce heat to very low. Let simmer for 30 to 40 minutes. Do not uncover or stir until done so it will be fluffy. You can add one cup. 25 liters of water if cooking a high altitude and turn the heat off after 20 or 30 minutes. Potato pea curry for 100 makes, 100 servings equipment, 40 quart, 38 liter pot, large skillet, large metal serving bowl preheat oven, 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 65 Celsius prep time, two hours parboiling potatoes. 1 hour, 15 minutes cooking time, 1 hour, 15 minutes parboiled potatoes, 6 gals, 23 liters, boiling water, 1 quarter cup, 57 grams, 2 ounces, sea salt, optional, 100 potatoes, washed and cubed. In a very large pot, 40 quart, 38 liter or larger, bring water to a boil, approximately 1 hour. If using salt, add it to water. Carefully add potatoes so there is no splashing and bring to a second boil. Boil until potatoes turn soft, or about 15 to 25 minutes. Drain. Curry for 100, 2 cups, 500 milliliters. 454 grams, 16 ounces. Olive oil, optional. Four heads garlic, diced 15 onions, diced six cups, 1.35 kilograms. Three LBs, nutritional yeast, six cups, 1.35 kilograms. Three LBs, curry powder, four TBSP. 56 grams, sea salt, optional, 16 ounces. 7.25 kilograms, 25 boxes frozen peas or fresh peas, six LBs. Two, seven kilograms, margarine. Optional, margarine has oil. Saute four heads of diced garlic for 30 seconds in a dry skillet or in oil over high heat. Add onions and saute until clear or about three to five minutes. Add yeast and curry. If using salt, add it too. Stir often. Add enough potatoes already prepared to fill the skillet. Mix well. You can add a little water if desired. When the spices are thoroughly mixed with the potatoes, add two packages of frozen peas and one stick of margarine if you wish. If you wish, after the margarine has melted and mixed in, empty skillet into a large metal serving bowl. Place in 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 65 Celsius oven to keep warm, and repeat the process until all the spices, potatoes, and peas are mixed together. Serve hot. The first food not bombs meal in Lagos, Nigeria. Potato pea curry for six makes, six servings equipment, four quart, four liter pot, skillet. Metal serving bowl, preheat oven, 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 65 Celsius prep time, two hours parboiling potatoes. One hour, 15 minutes cooking time, one hour, 15 minutes parboiled potatoes, one gallon, four liters, boiling water, one TBSP. 14 grams, sea salt optional, 5 to 10 potatoes, washed and cubed. In a large pot, 4 quarts, 4 liter or larger, bring water to a boil, approximately 1 hour. 
If using salt, add it to water. Carefully add potatoes so there is no splashing and bring to a second boil. Boil until potatoes turn soft, or about 15 to 25 minutes. Drain. Curry for 6, 4 TBSP, 56 grams, olive oil optional, 4 cloves of garlic, diced 1 to 2 onions, diced 1 cup, 227 grams, 8 ounces. Nutritional yeast. 1 cup, 227 grams, 8 ounces. Curry powder 1 TBSP, 14 grams, sea salt optional 16 oz, 280 grams, 2 boxes of frozen peas 1 cup, 227 grams, 8 ounces. Margarine optional has oil. Saute 4 cloves of diced garlic for 30 seconds in a dry skillet or in oil over high heat. Add onions and saute until clear, for about 3 to 5 minutes. Add yeast and curry. If using salt, add it to water. Stir often. Add enough potatoes already prepared to fill the skillet. Mix well. Uh, add a little water, if desired. When the spices are thoroughly mixed with the potatoes, add peas and margarine if you wish. After the margarine has melted and mixed in, empty skillet into a large metal serving bowl. Place in 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 65 Celsius oven to keep warm. And repeat the process until all the spices, potatoes, and peas are mixed together. Serve hot. Tofu spinach lasagna. For 100 makes, 100 servings equipment, 24 quart saucepan, 20 liter, 20 quart pot, 19 liter two largest, 412 x 18, 30 centimeters x 46 centimeters baking pans, preheat oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 176 Celsius prep time, 3 hours baking time, 1 hour or more sauce, 1 cup, 250 milliliters, 8 ounces, olive oil optional, 1 head garlic, dice 10 onions, chopped 1,016 ounces, 500 milliliters, cans of tomatoes, 2 TBSP. 28 grams, sea salt optional, 3 TBSP. 43 grams, oregano, 2 TBSP. 28 grams, basil, 2 TBSP. 28 grams, thyme, 10 bay, leaves, 2 TBSP. 28 grams, black pepper. Saute garlic dry or in oil in a heavy 24-quart saucepan for 30 seconds. Add onions and spices, and saute until onions are clear. Add tomatoes, bay leaves, and pepper. Add salt if you wish. Cover and simmer on medium-low heat for 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. Add water if needed. Filling 1 cup 250 milliliters, 8 ounces, olive oil optional 1 head garlic, diced 10 onions, chopped 20 LBs, 9 kilograms, tofu drained 10 ounces, 280 grams, 20 boxes of frozen spinach or about 6 LBs, 2, 7 KLG, fresh spinach 3 TBSP, 43 grams, time 2 TBSP, 28 grams, basil 3 TBSP, 43 grams, oregano 2 cups, 500 milliliters, tamari, Bangkok food not bomb shares food. Saute about the diced garlic for 30 seconds over high heat in a dry skillet or oil. Add about 2 cups of onions and saute until clear or about 3 to 5 minutes, stirring often. Add enough tofu to fill the skillet and fry until it starts to brown. Keep stirring and scrape the bottom of the skillet occasionally. While stirring, sprinkle in some of the thyme, oregano, basil, and tamari. Then add thawed, drained spinach. Mix well and cook until the excess water evaporates. Empty skillet into a large metal mixing bowl. Repeat the process until all the tofu is cooked. Mix all the tofu and spinach thoroughly and set aside. 4 gallons, 15 liters, water, 2 TBSP, 28 grams, sea salt optional, A10 Oz, 280 gram, boxes lasagna noodles. Bring the water to a boil in a 20-quart 19-liter pot and cook the noodles about 10 minutes, following the directions on the box. If using salt, add it to water. Noodles ought to be al dente still firm when bitten, do not overcook. Drain and rinse with cold water and set aside. Soy cheese, 20 LBs, 9 kilograms, soy cheese, mozzarella style, grated, add more soy cheese if you like. Place a thin layer of tomato sauce in the bottom of each baking pan and place one layer of noodles over the sauce, completely covering the bottom. Place a layer of tofu spinach mixture over the noodles and then sprinkle about two cups of soy cheese evenly over it. Cover completely with noodles. Place a generous layer of sauce over these noodles and repeat, starting with a mixture and ending with sauce. Sprinkle remaining soy cheese over top and bake at 350 degrees for one hour or until soy cheese starts to brown. Remove from oven and let stand for about 15 minutes before serving. The cheeseless sauce from the macaroni and cheeseless recipe can be used as a substitute for the soy cheese. Many soy cheeses contain casein or sodium caseinate, milk proteins which are animal products. Tofu spinach lasagna for six makes, six servings equipment, four quart, four liter saucepan, four quart, four liter pot, one large skillet, 112x18, 30 cmx, 46 cm baking pan preheat oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 176 Celsius prep time, 3 hours in baking time, 1 hour or more sauce, 4 TBSP. 56 grams, olive oil optional, 1 or 2 cloves of garlic, diced 1 onions, chopped 1 16 ounces, 500 milliliters, can of tomatoes or 3 or 4 fresh tomatoes, 1 TBSP. 14 grams, sea salt optional, 1 TBSP. 14 grams, oregano, 1 TBSP. 14 grams, basil, 1 TBSP. 14 grams, thyme, 2 or 3 bay, leaves 1 TBSP. 14 grams black pepper. Saute garlic for 30 seconds in a heavy 4 quart, 4 liter saucepan. Add onions and spices and saute until onions are clear. Add tomatoes, bay leaves, and pepper. Add salt if you wish.
Cover and simmer on medium-low heat for 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. Add salt or water if you wish. Filling, 4 TBSP, 56 grams, olive oil optional. 1 to 3 cloves of garlic, diced. 1 to 2 onions, chopped. 2 LBs, 9 kilograms, tofu, drained, freeze for great texture. 10 Oz, 280 grams, 2 boxes of frozen spinach or 6 cups, 1.35 kilograms, fresh spinach. 1 TBSP, 14 grams, thyme. 1 TBSP, 14 grams basil. 1 TBSP, 14 grams oregano. 1 eighth cup. 30 milliliters, 1 ounce, tamari. Cooking at School of America's Watch Protest. Saute diced garlic for 3 seconds over high heat in oil or a dry skillet. Add onions and saute until clear, or about 3 to 5 minutes, stirring often. Add enough tofu to fill the skillet and fry until it starts to brown. Keep stirring and scrape the bottom of the skillet occasionally. While stirring, sprinkle in some of the thyme, oregano, basil, and tamari, then add thawed, drained spinach. Mix well and cook until the excess water evaporates. Empty skillet into a large metal mixing bowl. Repeat the process until all the tofu is cooked. Mix all the tofu and spinach thoroughly and set aside. Noodle salads, 12 cups, 6 liters, 1 half gallons or more water, 1 TBSP, 14 grams, sea salt optional, 2 LBs, 9 kilograms, lasagna noodles. In a 4 quart, 4 liter pot, bring the water to a boil and cook the noodles about 10 minutes, following the directions on the box. If using salt, add it to water. Noodles ought to be al dente, still firm when bitten, do not overcook. Drain and rinse with cold water and set aside soy or nut cheese, 4 LBs, 1.8 kilograms, GMO-free soy or nut cheese mozzarella style, grated add more soy cheese if you like. Place a thin layer of tomato sauce in the bottom of each baking pan, and place one layer of noodles over the sauce, completely covering the bottom. Place a layer of tofu spinach mixture over the noodles, and then sprinkle about two cups of soy cheese evenly over it. Cover completely with noodles. Place a generous layer of sauce over these noodles and repeat, starting with a mixture and ending with sauce. Sprinkle remaining soy cheese over top and bake at 350 degrees for one hour, or until soy cheese starts to brown. Remove from oven and let stand for about 15 minutes before serving. The cheeseless sauce from the macaroni and cheeseless recipe can be used as a substitute for the soy cheese. Many soy cheeses contain casein or sodium caseinate, milk proteins, which are animal products, so look for vegan GMO-free soy cheese if you want to skip the cheeseless step. You can also find nut-based vegan cheeses. Toss salad for 100 makes, 100 servings equipment, very large mixing bowl, smaller serving bowl prep time, 2-3 to three hours, 8 heads lettuce, torn 10 LBs, 4.5 kilograms, carrots, chopped 3 heads celery, chopped 6 LBs, 2.7 kilograms, tomatoes, chopped 2 heads red cabbage, shredded 6 LBs, 2.7 kilograms, green pepper, chopped 6 LBs, 2.7 kilograms, cucumbers, sliced other options, 3 cups, 680 grams, 1.5 LBs, Sunflower seeds, 8 cups, 2 liters, alfalfa, sunflower, or other sprouts, 4 cups, 910 grams, 2 LBs. Tempeh cubes sautéed in olive oil until crispy brown tofu if you don't have tempeh, 3 cups, 680 grams, 1.5 LBs. Cranberries, wash all vegetables and chop into bite-sized pieces. For ease of tossing and transporting, use 30-gallon plastic food storage bags, but be sure to double them to be on the safe side. Use additional vegetables which might be on hand, such as broccoli, cauliflower, onions, zucchini, beets, mushrooms, spinach, sprouts, apples, raisins, sunflower seeds, cooked whole beans such as chickpeas, kidney beans, and green peas, and so on. Use a smaller salad bowl for serving, and only dress the salad in that bowl. Keep the rest on ice or refrigerated. Salad will keep overnight if undressed. Eating with food, not bombs, in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Toss salad for six makes, six servings equipment, very large mixing bowl, smaller serving bowl prep time. 15 to 20 minutes, 1 to 2 heads lettuce, torn 2 cups, 454 grams, 1 LB. Carrots, chopped 3 to 5 sticks of celery, chopped 3 cups, 680 grams, 1 and a half LBs. Tomatoes, chopped 1 head red cabbage, shredded 2 cups, 454 grams, 1 LB. Green pepper, chopped 2 cups, 454 grams, 1 LB. Cucumbers, sliced other options, 1 eighth cup, 28 grams, 1 ounce. Sunflower seeds, 1 cup, 250 milliliters. Alfalfa, sunflower, or other sprouts, 1 cup, 227 grams, one half LB. Tempe cube saute dry or in olive oil until crispy brown tofu if you don't have tempe. One cup, 227 grams, one half LB. Cranberries. The directions are the same as for 100 servings. Wash all vegetables and chop into bite-sized pieces. Use additional vegetables which might be on hand such as broccoli, cauliflower, onions, zucchini, beets, mushrooms, spinach, sprouts, apples, raisins, sunflower seeds, cooked whole beans such as chickpeas, kidney beans, and green peas, and so on. Use a smaller salad bowl for serving and only dress the salad in that bowl. Keep the rest on ice or refrigerated. Salad will keep overnight if undressed. Food Not Bombs provides meals in Finland carrot raisin salad for 100 makes, 100 servings equipment, large mixing bowl prep time, 1 to 2 hours, 25 LBs, 11, 35 kilograms, carrots, 6 LBs, 2, 7 kilograms, raisins, 10 cups, 2, 500 milliliters, mayonnaise or make your own 20 lemons, juice of, great carrots, then mix all ingredients in a large mixing bowl. Serve cold. Mayonnaise is a brand name of non-dairy mayonnaise made by Nasoya. It is an excellent substitute for mayonnaise. However, you can also make your own by blending 10 pounds of tofu with lemon juice, vinegar, and 2 teaspoons of garlic powder. 
or you can add a touch of olive oil if you wish. Carrot raisin salad for six makes, six servings equipment, large mixing bowl prep time, 15 minutes, six cups, 1.35 kilograms. Three LBs, carrots, grated one cup, 227 grams, one half LB, raisins one cup, 250 milliliters. Mayonnaise or make your own one to two lemons, juice of. The process is the same as when making the salad for 100 servings. Grate carrots, then mix all ingredients in a large mixing bowl. Serve cold. You can make your own vegan mayonnaise by blending one cup of tofu, lemon juice, vinegar, and two teaspoons of garlic powder. Volunteer in Indonesia grinds chilies. Belgrade Food Not Bombs shares vegan meals coleslaw for 100 makes, 100 servings equipment, large mixing bowl prep time, 1 hour 10, LBS, 4.5. KG carrots, grated 16 cups, 3.6 kilograms. 8. LBS. Mayonnaise, or make your own 1 TBSP, 14 grams, sea salt optional, 4 heads green cabbage, shredded 2 lemons, juice of 1 TBSP, 14 grams, black pepper. Shred cabbage and grate carrots, then mix all ingredients in a very large mixing bowl, and serve immediately, or serve cold. Coleslaw for 6 makes, 6 servings equipment, large mixing bowl prep time, 15 to 20 minutes, 6 cups, 1.35 kilograms. 3 LBs, carrots, grated 8 cups, 1.8 kilograms, 4 LBs, mayonnaise or make your own 1 TBSP, 14 grams sea salt, optional 2 heads green cabbage, shredded 1 TBSP. 14 grams lemons, juice of 2 pinches of black pepper. To make coleslaw for 6 people, you follow the same process as when making coleslaw for 100 servings. Shred cabbage and grate carrots, then mix all ingredients in a very large mixing bowl and serve immediately. Serve cold. You can make your own vegan mayonnaise by blending one cup of tofu, lemon juice, vinegar, and two teaspoons of garlic powder. Salad dressings. Traditional oil and vinegar salad dressing for 100 makes, 100 servings equipment, 2 quart 2 liter jars with lids prep time, 1 hour, 8 cups 2 liters, 2 quarts olive oil, 2 cups 1 2 liter 1 pint balsamic vinegar, 10 lemons juice of 4 TBSP 57 grams, 2 oz. Fresh garlic, diced 2 TBSP, 28 grams. Thyme, 2 TBSP, 28 grams. Basil, 2 TBSP, 28 grams. Oregano, TBSP, 28 grams. Sea salt optional, 2 TBSP, 2008. Grams, black pepper, 2 TBSP, 28 grams. Ginger powder. Put half of all ingredients in each jar and shake well. Shake again before every serving. Variations include leaving out the oil, using only lemon juice and no vinegar, using tamari instead of salt, adding nutritional yeast, adding apple or orange juice, and so on. Go ahead, be creative. Traditional oil and vinegar salad dressing for six makes, six servings equipment, one quart, two liter jars with lids prep time, 15 minutes, one half cup, 120 milliliters. Four ounces. Olive oil, January 4th, 2060 ml, two ounces. Balsamic vinegar, one lemon, juice of four TSP. Grams, fresh garlic, diced two TSP. Seven. Grams, time two TSP. Seven. Grams, basil, two TSP. Seven. Grams, oregano, two TSP. Seven. Grams, sea salt, optional, two TSP. Seven grams, black pepper, 2 TSP, 7 grams, ginger powder. Just as you do when making dressing for 100 servings, put half of all ingredients in each jar and shake well. Shake again before every serving. Variations include removing the oil, using only lemon juice and no vinegar, using tamari instead of salt, adding nutritional yeast, adding apple or orange juice, and so on. Have fun making your dressing tasty. Tahini lemon salad dressing for 100 makes, 100 servings equipment, blender or whisk prep time, 1 hour 5 cups, 1.2 kilograms. Tahini 5 lemons, juice of 1 cup, 227 grams, nutritional yeast 2 TBSP, 28 grams, toasted sesame oil, optional, 7 to 14 cloves of garlic, 2 cups, 500. Water other options, apple juice or cider. Place half of all ingredients in a blender and blend until smooth. Add more water or lemon or apple juice as necessary to make a thick, creamy dressing. Repeat. Tahini lemon salad dressing for 6 makes, 6 servings equipment, blender or whisk prep time, 15 minutes, 1 half cup, 125 milliliters. Tahini 2 lemons, juice of 1 half cup. 114 grams, nutritional yeast, 1 TBSP, 14 grams, toasted sesame oil, optional, 2 or 3 cloves of garlic, 1 half cup, 125 milliliters, water other options, apple juice or cider. Again, this is the same process used when making dressing for 100 salads. Place half of all ingredients in a blender and blend until smooth. Add more water or lemon or apple juice as necessary to make a thick, creamy dressing. Repeat. Tofu dill dip for 100 makes, 100 servings equipment, Blender or whisk prep time, 1 hour, 15 minutes, 10 LBS. 4, 5 kilograms, tofu, drained 5 cups, 1, 250 milliliters. Olive oil, optional, 2 cups, 500 milliliters, vinegar, 20 lemons, juice of 20 cloves, garlic, 10 onions. 1 cup, 227 grams, dill, 2 TBSP. 28 grams, sea salt, optional, 2 TSP. 10 grams, white pepper, other options, apple juice or cider. Squeeze tofu like a sponge to remove excess water, then crumble 2.5 pounds of it into a blender. Add one quarter each of the remaining ingredients. Blend until smooth, adding water or apple juice. 
as necessary to achieve a thick, creamy consistency. Repeat three more times. Chill and serve with cut vegetables or chips. Tofu dill dip for six makes, six servings equipment, blender or whisk prep time, 15 to 20 minutes, 1 LB. 454 grams, tofu, drained 5 TBSP. 75 milliliters, olive oil optional, 5 TBSP. 75 milliliters, vinegar 2 lemons, juice of 2 to 5 cloves of garlic, 1 onion, 5 TBSP. 7 grams, dill 1 TBSP. 14 grams, sea salt optional, 1 TBSP. 15 milliliters, 14 grams, white pepper, other options, apple juice or cider. Cleaning strawberries in Cologne, Germany. Follow the process used to make 100 servings. Squeeze tofu like a sponge to remove excess water, then crumble it into a blender or bowl to use with a whisk. Add one quarter each of the remaining ingredients. Blend until smooth, adding water or apple juice as necessary to achieve a thick, creamy consistency. Repeat three more times. Chill and serve with cut vegetables or chips. Soups miso soup for six. Miso soup for 100 makes, 100 servings equipment, 30 quart to 50 quart soup, pot prep time, 40 minutes cooking time, one hour, one cup, 250 milliliters. Olive oil optional, two bulbs, fresh garlic, diced two TBSP, 28 grams, thyme two TBSP, 28 grams, basil four gals, 15 liters, water two LBs, nine kilograms, miso other options, one TBSP. 20 grams, cayenne two cups, 454 grams, one LB, RMAC vegetable, one head cabbage, shredded six LBs, 2.7 kilograms, tofu cubed four cups, nine kilograms, two LBs, chopped scallions. Saute diced garlic and spices for 30 seconds in oil or in a dry soup pot, Add water and any combination of optional ingredients, or bring to uh, a boil. Remove from heat. Draw off one to two quarts of broth, and in a large mixing bowl, mix with miso paste and miso varies in strength, so use about two to three tubs or pounds. When all the miso is smoothly mixed into the broth, return it to the vegetables, stir, and serve. Note, do not boil the miso. This kills the beneficial microorganisms. Makes, six servings equipment, four quart, four liter soup pot, tea kettle prep time, 20 minutes cooking time, 30 minutes hour, one quarter cup, 60 milliliters. Oil optional, two to three cloves of fresh garlic, diced one TBSP. 14 grams time one TBSP, 14 grams, basil 10 cups, 2.5 liters, five pints water, two cups, 454 grams, one quarter LB. Miso, other options, one TSP, five grams, cayenne, one eighth cup, 28 grams, one ounce. Arame sea vegetable, one eighth cup, 28 grams, one ounce. Cabbage shredded, one eighth cup, 28 grams, one ounce. Tofu cubed, one eighth cup, 28 grams, one ounce. Chopped scallions. Saute diced garlic and spices for 30 seconds in oil or in a dry soup pot. Add a small amount of water and any combination of the ingredients except the miso. Or bring to uh, a boil. Remove from heat. You could heat the water in a kettle and pour it into each cup. Mix in the miso and add the sauteed ingredients. Stir and enjoy. You can also pour the water heated in the kettle into the pot of ingredients and stir in the miso. Again, note, do not pour boiling water over the miso. This kills the beneficial microorganisms. People come to eat with food, not bombs in Karuna, Spain. Yellow pea soup for 100 makes, 100 servings equipment, 20 quart, 19 liter soup pot prep time, 1 hour cooking time, 1 hour or more, 1 half cup, 125 milliliters. Olive oil optional, 2 heads garlic, diced 5 onions, chopped 2 TBSP. 28 grams, time 2 TBSP. 28 grams, basil 2 TBSP. 28 grams, oregano 3 gals. 11. 5 liters, water 12 LBs. 5.5 kilograms, yellow peas 2 LBs, 9 kilograms, barley 3 TBSP. 43 grams, sea salt optional, 1 TBSP. 14 grams, black pepper, 10 potatoes, cubed, 2 LBs, 1 kilogram. Carrots, chopped, 2 heads, celery. Yellow pea soup for 6 makes, 6 servings equipment. 4 quart, 4 liter soup pot prep time. 20 to 30 minutes cooking time. 1 hour or more, 5 TBSP. 75 milliliters, olive oil optional, 2 to 3 cloves of garlic. Diced 1 onions, chopped 1 TSP. 5 grams, thyme 1 TSP. 5 grams, basil 1 TSP. 5 grams, oregano 12 cups, 6 liters, 1 and a half gallons, water 2 cups, 454 grams, 1 LB. Yellow peas 1 half cup, 114 grams, 4 ounces. Barley 1 TBSP, 14 grams. Sea salt optional, 1 TBSP, 15 milliliters. 14 grams, 2 ounces. Black pepper, 4 to 5 potatoes. Cubed 1 half cup, 114 grams, 4 ounces. Carrots, chopped two to four stalks of celery. Follow the same process used to make 100 servings. Saute garlic for 30 seconds, then add onions and spices in a soup pot. Saute until onions start to brown on their edges. Add peas and stir until heated and coated spices. Then add water, barley, and pepper, and bring to boil. If using salt, add it to water. Add chopped vegetables and bring to a second boil, then reduce heat to low and cover. Stir occasionally and simmer for 45 minutes or until peas are cooked to desired softness. Serve hot. Saute garlic for 30 seconds in oil or dry soup pot, then add onions and spices. Saute until onions start to brown on their edges. Add peas and stir until heated and coated spices. Then add water, barley and pepper, and bring to boil. If using salt, add it to water. Add chopped vegetables and bring to a second boil, then reduce heat to low and cover.
Stir occasionally and simmer for 45 minutes or until peas are cooked to desired softness. Serve hot. Note, the soup can simmer for as long as you like if you continue adding additional water. It can also be made with any bean or combination substituted for the yellow peas. For the grain, barley works best, but rice, whole oats, wheat berries, or another whole grain will also work if you do not have barley. People line up to eat with food, not bombs in Finland. People line up to eat with food, not bombs, at the School of the Americas protest in Georgia Vegetable Soup for 100 makes 100 servings equipment, 30 quart, 30 liter soup pot prep time, one hour, 30 minutes cooking time, one hour or more, one half cup, 125 milliliters. Olive oil optional, two heads garlic, dice 12 onions, chop two TBSP, 28 grams thyme, two TBSP, 28 grams basil, two TBSP, 28 grams oregano, two TBSP, 28 grams tarragon, three gals, 11. 5 liters, water, 1 quarter cup, 57 grams, 2 ounces, sea salt optional, 1 TBSP, 10 grams, black pepper 5, bay, leaves 6 LBs, 2.7 kilograms, potatoes, 18 tomatoes, 2 LBs, 1 KLG, 500 grams, 32 ounces, zucchini, 2 heads, celery, 2 LBs, 9 kilograms, carrots, other options, 4 cups, 9 kilograms, 2 LBs, cooked macaroni, 4 cups, 9 kilograms, 2 LBs, cooked chickpeas, 4 cups, 9 kilograms, 2 LBs, peas, almost any other vegetable, vegetable soup for 6 makes, Six servings equipment, four quart, four liter soup pot prep time, 30 minutes to one hour cooking time, one hour or more, five TBSP. 75 milliliters, olive oil optional, two to three cloves of garlic, dice one to two onions, chopped one TBSP, 14 grams, thyme one TBSP, 14 grams, basil one TBSP, 14 grams, oregano one TBSP, 14 grams, tarragon 12 cups, six liters, one half gallons, water one TBSP, 14 grams, sea salt optional two TSP, nine, four grams, black pepper, one bay leaf, one LB, 454 grams, potatoes, two tomatoes, one LB. 454 grams, zucchini, two to three stalks of celery, one LB. 454 grams, carrots, other options, one quarter cup, 57 grams, two ounces. Cooked macaroni, one quarter cup, 57 grams, two ounces. Cooked chickpeas, one quarter cup, 57 grams, two ounces. Peas as well as almost any other vegetable. Saute garlic for 30 seconds, then add onions and spices in a dry soup pot or with olive oil. Or saute until onions start to brown on their edges. Add water, pepper, and bay leaves. If using salt, add to water. Bring to a boil and add chopped vegetables and other ingredients. Bring to a second boil, then reduce heat to low and cover. Simmer for 45 minutes or until vegetables are cooked to desired softness. Serve hot. This soup can simmer for as long as you like if you keep adding water. Serve hot. This is a great soup to make with the produce you have left over from your regular food not bombs meal. Follow the same directions you would use if making vegetable soup for 100 people. Potato soup for 100 potato soup for six makes, 100 servings makes, six servings equipment. 30 quart, 30 liter soup pot equipment, 4 quart, 4 liter soup pot prep time, 1 hour prep time, 20 to 30 minutes cooking time, 1 hour or more cooking time, 1 hour or more, 1 half cup, 125 milliliters, olive oil optional, 5 TBSP, 75 milliliters, 70 grams, 2, 5 ounces, olive oil optional, 2 heads garlic, dice 2 to 3 cloves of garlic, dice 12 onions, chop 1 to 2 onions, chop 2 TBSP, 28 grams, thyme 1 TBSP, 15 milliliters, 14 grams, 2 ounces, thyme 2 TBSP, 28 grams, basil 1 TBSP, 15 milliliters, 14 grams, 2 ounces, basil 2 TBSP, 28 grams, oregano 3 gallons, 11, 5 liters, water 10 LBS, 4.5 kilograms, potatoes cubed, 1 TBSP, 15 milliliters, 14 grams, 2 ounces, oregano 12 cups, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0 milliliters, 2,724 grams, 192 ounces, water 2 LBs. 1 KLG, 500 grams, 32 ounces, potatoes cubed, 3 TBSP, 43 grams, sea salt optional, 1 TBSP, 15 milliliters, 14 grams, 2 ounces, sea salt optional, 2 TBSP, 28 grams, white pepper, 4 LBs, 1.8 kilograms, carrots, chopped, 1 TBSP, 15 milliliters, 14 grams, 2 ounces, white pepper, 1 LB, 50 KLG, 450 grams, 16 ounces, carrots, chopped. Your potato soup for six is prepared following the same directions you would if you were making soup for 100 people. You don't want to add too much salt and pepper. I love to remove the salt and use additional dill to my own soup. You might also enjoy the flavor of dill. Saute garlic for 30 seconds dry or in oil in a soup pot, then add onions and spices. Saute until onions start to brown on their edges. Add water, potatoes, carrots, and pepper. If using salt, add to water. Bring to a boil, then reduce heat to low and cover. Simmer for 30 minutes or until potatoes are soft. Ladle some of the soup into a blender and blend until smooth. Be careful to hold the lid very tightly onto the blender. The soup is very hot and will burn you if it splashes out. Blend about half of the soup, leaving some chunks of potato. Note, add half to one cup of dill and make this potato dill soup. Dusseldorf Food, not bombs, provides vegan meals in the city center. Desserts, apple pear crisp for 100. Fruit salad for 100, makes 100 servings. 
Equipment, large mixing bowl, small serving bowl, plastic storage buckets with lids. Prep time, one hour. 100 pieces assorted fruit. Apples, oranges, pears, peaches, bananas, pineapples, berries, raisins, and so on. 20 lemons, juice of. Cut fruit into bite-sized pieces. In a large mixing bowl, mix fruit together with lemon juice, coating all pieces. The lemon juice helps retard the browning which occurs when fruit is exposed to the air. Store fruit in plastic tofu buckets with tight-fitting lids and refrigerate if possible. Serve in small portions using a small serving bowl. This salad also tastes great with granola, shredded coconut, or ice bean. Ice bean is the brand name of a non-dairy ice cream substitute made by Farm Foods. It is made from soybeans. Fruit salad for six, makes six servings, equipment, mixing bowl, small serving bowl, plastic storage buckets with lids, prep time, 10 to 15 minutes, 10 assorted fruit, apples, oranges, pears, peaches, bananas, pineapples, berries, raisins, and so on. Two lemons, juice of. To make fruit salad for six, you follow the same directions you would use to make 100 servings. You will have much less compost when you make fruit salad for six. There are many wonderful coconut-based yogurts and other vegan toppings you can add to your fresh fruit. Go wild. Food, not lawns, gardens. If your chapter can't find everything it desires in the waste of your society, consider growing it yourselves. Invite the people eating with your local Food Not Bombs group to help reclaim the vacant land in your city. Starting a Food Not Lawns organic community garden could be another step towards a future of food security. Your group can learn more about gardening by attending the Food Not Bombs free school in Taos, New Mexico. Makes 100% servings. Equipment 3 to 12x18, 30 CMX, 46 CM baking pans. Preheat oven 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 176 Celsius prep time, 1 hour 30 minutes. Cooking time, one hour filling, 40 apples, 40 pears, 10 lemons, juice of five cups, one 250 milliliters. Maple syrup, agave nectar optional, one quarter cup, 60 milliliters, vanilla, one half cup, 114 grams, four ounces. Cinnamon, two TBSP, 28 grams, powdered ginger, one TBSP, 14 grams, nutmeg, one TBSP. 14 grams allspice, core and slice apples and pears. Peeling is not necessary. In a mixing bowl, mix sliced fruit with remaining ingredients until every piece of fruit is covered. Place into baking pans in an even layer. Topping, 20 cups rolled oats, 20 cups whole wheat flour, 1 half cup, 114 grams, 4 ounces. Cinnamon, 2 TBSP, 28 grams, nutmeg. 2 TBSP, 28 grams allspice, 1 TBSP, 14 grams, ground cloves, 1 TBSP, 14 grams, sea salt optional, 4 LBs, 1.8 kilograms, margarine, 5 cups, 1 250 milliliters, maple syrup or agave nectar optional, or 1 half cup, 125 milliliters, vanilla. In a large mixing bowl, mix the oats, flour, and spices. Break margarine into small pieces and work into the dry mixture with your hands. Mix syrup and vanilla together, then add to the topping and mix very well. Crumble the topping over the fruit in the baking pans and bake in oven at 350 degrees for at least one hour until the topping is golden brown. The fruit is soft and there is liquid on the bottom. Serve hot with ice bean, the SOS free diet. If you start to eat a plant-based diet free of all salt, oil, and sugar, your health may improve. Removing wheat and processed foods from your meals can also help you feel your best. I adopted this diet after a 20-day water fast at True North in Santa Rosa, California, and recovered from 19 years of extreme pain of fibromyalgia caused from having been injured by the San Francisco police. Apple pear crisp for six. Makes six servings. Equipment, 3 to 12 x 18, 30 CMX, 46 CM baking pans. Preheat oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 176 Celsius. Prep time, one hour, 30 minutes. Cooking time, one hour. Filling, five apples or five pears. One lemon juice of one cup, 250 milliliters. Maple syrup or agave nectar optional. 3 TBSP, 45 milliliters, vanilla, 1 TBSP, 14 grams cinnamon, 1 TBSP, 14 grams powdered ginger, 1 TSP, 7 grams nutmeg, 1 TSP, 7 grams allspice, core and slice apples and pears. Peeling is not necessary, is not necessary. In a mixing bowl, mix sliced fruit with remaining ingredients until every piece of fruit is covered. Place into greased baking pans in an even layer. Topping, 2 cups, 454 grams, 1 LB. Rolled oats, 2 cups, 454 grams, 1 LB. Whole wheat flour, 1 TBSP. 14 grams cinnamon, 1 TBSP. 14 grams nutmeg, 1 TBSP. 14 grams allspice, 2 TSP. 7 grams ground cloves, 1 TSP. 4 grams sea salt optional, 1 quarter cup. 57 grams, 2 ounces. Margarine, 1 quarter cup. 57 grams, 2 ounces. Maple syrup, molasses, or agave nectar optional, 5 TBSP. 75 milliliters vanilla. In a large mixing bowl, mix the oats, flour, and spices. Bowl, mix the oats, flour, and spices. Break margarine into small pieces and work into the dry mixture with your hands. Mix syrup and vanilla together, then add to the topping and mix very well. Crumble the topping over the fruit in the baking pans and bake in oven at 350 degrees for at least one hour until the topping is golden brown. The fruit is soft and there is liquid on the bottom. Serve hot with ice bean. Make your own tofu. Tofu may not be easy to find or may cost too much in some areas of the world. First, you will need to make soy milk. Or to make 800 grams of tofu, you will need to make 4 liters of soy milk. Make sure your soy is organic and GMO-free.
To make the soy milk, soak 500 grams of dried soybeans for 10 to 12 hours. Add the soaked beans to water in a blender and pour the soybean, water mixture through cheesecloth, very loosely woven gauze or silk screen. Boil the soy milk for five minutes and let cool to 158 to 176 degrees Fahrenheit, 70 to 80 degrees Celsius. Mix four teaspoons of nigari or natural bitters made of calcium sulfate, magnesium sulfate or Epsom salts into two cups of warm water. The longer you let this mixture sit, the harder your tofu will be. Stir in the sulfate to the warm soy milk and let stand for 15 to 20 minutes. Pour the resulting curds into a mold lined with cheesecloth, very loosely woven gauze or silkscreen pushing it flat into the mold. The remaining liquid will be pushed through the holes in the bottom of the mold. Once it has cooled down, dump the tofu into a container of water and place in a refrigerator or other cool location. You can make a tofu mold from a wooden or plastic box, drilling or poking holes in the bottom. Some plastic boxes will come with a lid, and if you cut the edges of the lid a little, it will slide into the box. You can use it to press the moisture through the holes by pushing it down on the curds. Tofu presses can also be bought. You can place your tofu in a freezer overnight and return it to the refrigerator to give it a tough texture if you want to mimic meat in some dishes. Equipment, blender or food processor, tofu press, cheesecloth, very loosely woven gauze or silkscreen, large mixing spoon, saucepan and mixing bowl. 4 TBSP, 56 grams calcium sulfate, magnesium sulfate, or Epsom salts. Dried soybeans, 500 grams, makes 1.5 pounds, 4 cups, 680 grams of tofu. A final word on cooking. Cooking together with the other volunteers is fun and provides a great opportunity to build friendships and share ideas. There are many more great meals that your Food Not Bombs chapter can prepare. After your group uses a few of these recipes, strike out on your own and see what you can create out of the bounty discarded from our, at least up to now, abundant system of agriculture and food production. Your chapter can also have fun altering our recipes.